So yesterday we had 16 districts that returned mm -hmm. to the classroom here in our area. We've got 13 today. Right. Clayton County Public Schools being one of them. Rebecca Schramm is at uh, is in Riverdale for us live this morning. Rebecca, it was so cool to see all those little ones uh, high, getting high fives as they walked in. Um, what do parents need to know this school year? Well, we're going to talk about student discipline because there's some new stuff there. But now I want to show you what's going on here at Riverdale Elementary School. Look at this. We've got parents walking their children in. We've got a welcoming committee, some of the volunteers from Southern Regional Medical Center. And look at this, the administrators greeting all these kids as they arrive for class, looking so sharp on their way into school. First day of the new school year here in Clayton County. So now let's talk about student behavior, which because when a student is disruptive in the classroom, it really makes it hard for them to do their jobs and for students to learn all the new concepts that teachers are trying to teach. I sat down recently with Clayton County's new school superintendent, Dr. Anthony Smith, and he tells me they're expanding on a program that they launched at the end of the last school year for disruptive children at the elementary level. They have what's called opportunity rooms. Now, this goes beyond a traditional in-school suspension. This is where children stay engaged in academics while also getting concentrated support related to underlying reasons behind their behavior. So interesting concept there. At the middle and high school levels, disruptive students will remain virtual in a program called Youth Empowerment Services. We're going to be a tough love school district. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to you know ask our kids to behave, and we're going to have high expectations for that. And we're asking the parents to assist us embrace that uh, for the greater good of the school system and the community. Yeah, so really great conversation we had there. We want these kids to have a non-disruptive environment where they are having fun in the classroom, where they're learning, where they're engaged, and we know that the superintendent wants that as well. If you're out and about today, Rodney talked about it, be aware because the big yellow school buses are back on the streets, so take your time. Maybe leave earlier to where you uh, need to go because buses like this, will be sharing the road with you and you want to make sure everybody is safe. Live in Riverdale, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Yeah, and, and Rebecca too, um, remember to slow down in those School zones. School zones. Yeah, for That's sure. really big. Thank you for that. That was great. So I, li I like what he said about tough love, right? Absolutely. Right? Keep them in line. You mm -hmm. have to. All right, so the largest school district in the state, Gwinnett County, is also getting back to the classroom this morning. And we're talking some 200,000 students, which means there's a need for a lot of teachers. Madeline Montgomery is live right now. She is uh, in Buford at Harmony Elementary School. Um, the district is staying staffed during this national teacher shortage. Looks like a lot of people want to work in Gwinnett County. That is right. Everybody's really excited, honestly, to be back at school today working in Gwinnett County. Folks are showing up right here to Harmony Elementary School. School starting in about 45 minutes. Exciting stuff. And we had the chance actually to go to Gwinnett County's teacher orientation and talk to people about why they decided to work here. And we spoke with human resources. We spoke with the superintendent of the district who say that the reputation of the county alone really draws people in. It is the seventh most diverse school district in the nation and the students here are known for going to really prestigious schools throughout the country. They're known for being good kids here and they really try to draw in good candidates for teachers. They have a good salary. They say that they have good signing bonuses and they also have retention incentives when they're approved of by the school board and they help sponsor higher education for their teachers and administrators. And this year for the first time ever, the district even went as far as recruiting in Puerto Rico to get new teachers teachers and when we talked to new hires they told us they're just excited to get into the classroom today. During the whole interview process I learned a lot about the district that I didn't know and when I went to interview for the position I left extremely happy so it kind of all just mashed up perfectly. A lot of folks we talked to actually who were starting to work here in Gwinnett County 
used to be students here themselves. So they just remember growing up here, learning here in Gwinnett County and knowing what a great place it was to learn and now to teach. Reporting live at Harmony Elementary School in Beaufort, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. Yeah, Madeline, can't wait to see all the kiddos out there as well this morning. <laughs> Meanwhile, the morning routine is probably a bit busier for you parents now that school is back in session because think about it, you've got to get the kids out of bed. Mm -hmm. That could be tough. <laughs> also, you've got to get them into a decent outfit for school. Decent a outfit. Decent outfit. That could be tough as well. And then we can't forget about food. you got to make that healthy breakfast and lunch as well. It's a lot. It's can a lot. I just say, as you can imagine, you can uh, easily forget about taking care of yourself. Don Chipman is here with some help and how um, it can it, it can impact a person's health. Really, Don, yeah. all this stress. Think about, yeah, I was going to say, the stress, that, that is definitely something you want to think about. Uh, this is especially true for moms out there. We hear this all too often. Moms are taking care of everyone else in the house, and they have a tendency to neglect their own self-care. But it turns out just a little preparation, it goes a long way. You're going to reduce your stress and improve your overall health at the same time. So you know what? I stopped by Project Lean Nation in Inman Park. It's a brand new meal prep service. They focus on creating healthy meals that are tailored to your diet. But here's the thing. You can do some meal prepping at home right now, which is proven to help you eat healthier. For example, planning ahead will eliminate the impulsive food choices throughout the day and that dreaded hanger. Shane Lucas is co-owner of PLN and he's also a fitness instructor. He says, just like we teach our children, moms also need to lean into consistency and routine. Already thinking ahead, what are you gonna eat for the week? What's going to be your plans? What's lunch? What's dinner? Where are we going out to eat for dinner with friends? Are we, you know, having, will this certain night be a night we have one too many cocktails, so I should really prep the next day. So we found that just consistency is the best way to create any results you want. So I went on Harvard School of Health and they have a lot of information there. I have it posted at our website right now. Um, a lot of different benefits for meal prepping. Like Lucas says, for example, that you're going to want to save yourself some time with all of this when, mm. when you need it the most, right? In the morning, getting the kiddos ready for school. But here's the thing with all of this. Be flexible. You don't have to devote an entire Sunday, for example, to meal prepping. Instead, you can spread it out or simply do it on a different day that works best for your schedule.